Democracy and secessionist violence in the country as political activities are given more priority and the cash crunch brought by the NIDA redesign policy according to residents making it difficult for easy operations of criminal elements. Experts say that the aim of the policy regarding crime reduction is being achieved despite experiences of cash crunch on the people. A sustenance of the policy and INEX conduct at subsequent polls will guarantee more peace and stability. I'm sure in the past two months or so, you hardly can hear of kidnap except a political kidnap. You know, there are different types of kidnap. You know, the people who go for economic reasons to get money and the people who go to kidnap their political opponents. So those ones are targeted. But for the regular uh, economic uh, kidnap, is on the decline. I can remember vividly um, some areas we are having um, constant robbery um, before the policy. But now, I think it's, um, since the introduction of the CBM policy, um, there is this um, reduction. It has been drastically declined. It has reduced to some extent. The way they usually demand for ransom is not as reduced because where is the money? In, the money is not only in circulation. And even if, if, even if you have to pay this ransom, you understand, it will be through the banks and it can easily be traced. On sufficient reporting of these incidents, Experts say the media does its part, but focus and expectation is more on political activities. Mostly what we are talking about now is political activities. You wake up in the morning, it's election, election, election. Everybody talking about election, manipulation of the processes and all what have you. So it, it's, it, that's what is trending. So, but, but that is not to say that when there are criminal activities, they shouldn't be reported to. Mike Ejofo says for peace to continue to reign in the country, the Naira redesign policy must be maintained and transparency in the conduct of the state elections must be more credible to avert any uprising. The peace and stability in this country after the election lies in the hand of INEC. So they must be serious. They must take this very serious to ensure. Nobody is interested on who wins the election. But if the process is fair, credible, transparent, people will not worry. He said security stability is a collective responsibility of everyone that must be given priority, especially by security agencies and government at all levels. Aisha Salihu, Trust TV News, Abuja.